Animals coexist on this planet alongside humans. Serving not only as companions but also offering assistance in times of need. While dogs and cats are commonly recognized as our closest allies. Wild animals exhibit unexpected intelligence and kindness, acts of kindness towards animals are often spontaneous. With humans not contemplating personal gain. Nonetheless. Goodness sometimes reciprocates. Even after a century. We uphold the belief that good will inevitably triumph over evil, the narrative in today's video underscores the protagonist's conviction that animals harbor enduring memories of kindness within their hearts. In a poignant incident on a warm June morning, a villager traversed a familiar forest path. Intending to reach the bus stop en route to the district center. A mere 100 meters from the stop, an ominous encounter unfolded as a suspicious man emerged from nearby bushes. Brandishing a knife, the assailant, without warning, attacked the woman, aiming to pilfer her belongings. Despite her initial shock, the woman rallied and resisted, screaming for help in the remote location where only a miracle could intervene. As the situation worsened, a fortuitous turn of events occurred. The unmistakable sounds of a breaking branch and horses' hoofs emanated from a nearby grove. Startled, the assailant turned to investigate only to be met with swift justice. The unexpected savior, to the woman's astonishment, was an adult deer with elegant, noble horns observing the animal closely. The woman, a veterinarian, noticed a peculiar mark on its paw, a telltale sign of a past fracture. Realizing the gravity of the situation, she discerned that this creature had once suffered a leg injury, leaving a lasting mark. As the thief attempted to make a hasty escape, he managed only a couple of steps before collapsing in pain, clutching his ribs, seizing the opportunity. The woman swiftly dialed the police on her mobile phone while making the call. She found herself gazing into the deer's large eyes. Overcome with emotion, memories flooded back to a time when, as a high school student, she encountered a wounded fawn in the forest. The young deer had fallen into a burrow, sustaining a broken leg. Though the woman's mother, saddened and helpless, couldn't aid the injured fawn, the determined student sought assistance from a local vet. The vet successfully treated the fawn, placing its leg in a cast, and it recovered in the veterinarian's stable during the recovery period. The woman faithfully visited the fawn daily, bringing treats. Once healed, the fawn was returned to the forest, reunited with its mother. Despite many years passing without sight of the saved fawn, the woman's experience fueled her passion for animal care. Inspired by the incident, she pursued veterinary training after graduating, dedicating herself to helping animals now. As she looked into the eyes of her unexpected savior, she recognized the deer as the once injured fawn from the forest meadow. Whether the deer reciprocated the recognition or it was a mere coincidence remained uncertain. Regardless, the truth remained, this animal had come to her aid in a dire situation. The woman reflected on the unpredictable nature of rewards for good deeds. Acknowledging that encounters on life's journey, much like meeting a wolf, might hold unexpected outcomes point one day. A hunter strolling through the forest encountered what seemed to be a lone wolf cub, apparently abandoned by its pack. Touched by compassion, he decided to bring the little creature home. The family's response was mixed. 
with his wife fainting at the sight. While his son embraced joy for the newfound furry friend. The boy, eager to make the wolf a part of the family, took on the responsibility of training the wild animal, akin to training a dog. However, the wolf proved resistant to conventional commands. Adhering to its own set of wild instincts, gradually, the wolf adapted to its new surroundings, even venturing around the yard. Over time, the hunter's wife, initially wary, grew fond of the wolf and began caring for it. The boy's interactions with the wolf impacted his behavior positively, leading to improved academic performance increased seriousness and responsibility as the wolf matured the family found themselves needing to restrain it at home due to its disruptive behavior point one unfortunate day the wolf vanished leaving the family in distress frustrated the boy's parents sympathizing with their son promised to bring him a shepherd dog puppy True to their word. A week later, the house echoed with the barks of the new canine edition. Despite the family's adjustment to the new pet, the boy remained melancholy, and even his academic performance suffered. Understanding their son's emotional struggle, his parents were helpless. Point one afternoon, the boy went sledding down a nearby hill. About a ten-minute walk from home, he joined other children in gleeful descent down the snowy slope, finding solace in the shared joy of the moment that A.S. dusk fell. Catching the boy by surprise, he found himself alone on the mountain, gripped by fear of the encroaching darkness, desiring a swift return home. His anxiety heightened when the haunting howl of wolves echoed through the air. Moments later, a pack of wolves materialized before him, prompting the boy to cry out in fear, closing his eyes as every second felt like an agonizing torment amidst the tension. One of the leading adult wolves approached, poised to pounce. The terrified boy, anticipating the worst, recognized the wolf as the long-lost cub he had raised. It's worth noting that wolves don't rely heavily on scent for recognition. The adult wolf, in turn, recognized the boy as its human friend, sparking joyous reunion. Together, they ascended to the hill's summit. Where the awaiting wolf pack acknowledged their bond, the pack's leader made way for the boy, allowing him to pass. And the wolf observed as the boy walked away until he vanished around the corner. A remarkable tale unfolded on that hill, blending fear and familiarity, ultimately revealing the enduring connection between the boy and the wolf. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share your thoughts on this story in the comments. And until next time. Let's continue. They screamed when they realized what the bear had done to the baby. Bears aren't human friends in the ordinary sense. But what's going on here might change your view of giant animals. Sometimes bears show up uninvited. If you live near their habitat, they may show up unexpectedly. Usually they're just looking for snacks. They are unwanted guests if they get into your garden or overturn your trash cans. Sometimes it is hard to understand each other. Kindness may be seen as weakness and showing weakness is disrespectful to the opponent. How did a family save an injured bear? After some time, parents were surprised to find that the bear rewarded them. My husband and I love nature. We often go to the countryside to enjoy fresh air. This weekend, my husband, my daughter and I went to the village. 
We wanted to take a break and go fishing there. I am familiar with the place we plan to visit. My parents had a house there. They inherited it from my grandparents. All the villagers moved to the city gradually. So the village started to be deserted. My parents sold that house. But some old people were still there. You can spend some days in any house when you want to be there. We made an appointment with the owner of the house in advance. We took all the necessary items and started our journey. The village was not close. If there are no traffic jams or weather problems, it will take us two hours to get there. My husband was driving. My daughter and I looked out the window every now and then. We had to drive slowly on country roads. It rained and some roads were wet. My daughter fell asleep. When I was sleepy, my husband stopped the car suddenly. I opened my eyes and saw him unfasten his seatbelt and get out of the car. The road was full of mud. An animal was lying on the road. It's so dirty that I couldn't even see what color it is. At this moment, I unfastened my seatbelt and walked out. I found out it was a bear. It seems to have been hit by a car. The country roads were too wet. If you don't care about your car, you can drive fast. How could we bear an animal to die here? Sometimes I can't understand human behavior. Such a poor animal. Its eyes slowly opened and closed. Its chest was barely moving. But it was still breathing. It's terrible. My husband and I didn't know what to do. We watched it. Just then. The car door opened. Our daughter cried. Maria held her and sat beside the bear. She patted it on the head. We can do nothing. Igor told his wife. Our daughter watched it. This is the first time we've seen her so serious. She said she would not leave the bear here. Of course she wasn't kidding. The nearest town is far away. We decided to take it to our village and hope someone will help it there. I got a blanket out of the car. My husband carefully placed the bear on it. Picked it up and carried it to the car. It was placed on the back seat. My daughter laughed. Igor was amazed by his daughter's reaction and how poor this animal was when she said that this poor animal had gained hope again. The bear's head was behind her. We left together. If we wanted to help this bear. We couldn't waste precious time. We drove as fast as we could on dirty roads. Our daughter was very excited. We had never seen it before. While the bear was waiting. Good people would soon show up to help it. It just lay there and stared. Obviously the bear was badly injured. It even vomited in the car. When we finally reached the village. We stopped at the first house. The lights were on and the stove was burning in the house. My husband ran out of the car and knocked on the door. After a while. We heard the door opening. An old man came out of the house. He realized what was happening. He stood thinking. Scratching his head. And then asked us to find the old lady who knew herbs. She's the only one who could help us. We arrived at her house. She lived on the outskirts of the village. She was sitting on a bench and trimming bundles of herbs. Please. Can you help us? We're here because someone said only you can help us. I showed her this poor bear. The old lady looked at it and said, bring it to me. She packed her bag and let us in. The corridor was filled with the smell of herbs. Herbs were hanging everywhere. She wiped a small table by the window and asked us to put it down. 
My husband put the bear on the table. The old lady checked it. The bear's paw was broken and maybe it had some lung problems. It hurt badly and had a concussion. Thanks for bringing it here in time. Please go to the nearby spring and bring me clean water. Put it in the corridor. Come back a few days later. We were surprised because the old lady was so confident. There was no other way. We could only trust her. Then we took the bucket that was placed at the entrance of the house. I feel like this old lady has been waiting for us. It seems she knows we'll visit her. She wasn't surprised at all when we got there. She even left a bucket by the entrance. Maybe it's just my illusion. Maybe people often come here and she sends people to find water. We went to the spring. It's not easy to find it because it's close to the bushes. We didn't think about what would happen if the bear recovered later. We hoped it would survive. We put the water in the corridor and drove to our house to settle down. We couldn't rest all night. We sat on the balcony wondering how the bear was. Two days passed. At five o'clock in the morning. Our daughter woke us up. We told her that it was too early. She was annoyed and sat outside for hours. After breakfast. We went to find the old lady. We knocked on the door but she didn't come out. We waited for a while and then went in. The old lady was drinking tea. The bear lay in a wooden box by the stove. It's a good time. Come in. Let's drink tea. I have to tell you something. Have a seat. My daughter went to the box near the stove. The clean bear was lying in the box. Its legs and belly were all bandaged. It looked better. But it's still weak. After seeing the girl. The bear slowly shook its head. She walked up to the bear to say hello. Sat gently beside it and patted its head. The old lady said this bear will be fine but it can no longer live in the wild because its wounds are terrible. The bear needs much time to recover. It can no longer be a good predator. You have to decide what to do with it. It's no coincidence that animals stand in your way. Igor told the old lady that we have an inexplicable connection with this bear. This is not surprising. I think she can predict some things, okay. Take the bear and leave. I have a lot of things to do. Said the old lady who was pretending to be busy, there are herbs I collected in the bag. She wrote down the medicine the animal needed. Don't get it wrong. I took the bag and gave her some money. I thought I should give her something. But the old lady didn't take the money. She said that no need. You'd better bring me spring water when you come to our village and tell me how the bear is. Hope it's all right. Then we left. We found out that the bear was female. On the way home. The bear did well. When we got home. We started taking care of it. Our daughter ran home right after school. She named it Scylla. The bear learned to walk with the help of AIDS. But it was aggressive sometimes. A year later. We decided to return it to the wild. That is its home. Then Scylla often visited us. Five years later. Our second child. Andrew. Was born. When he was one year old. Scylla didn't appear. We thought it had a family too. On this sunny day. A surprising thing happened to our children. We were unpacking when I found Scylla. It amused our children. This time it came here with its cubs. Suddenly we heard crying. My daughter was asking for help. Our daughter was on the ground. 
I ran up to them and yelled at the bear to let it go. However, as I ran closer, I found Andrew and his sister in the backyard were all right. She sat down and looked at the bear in amazement. The bear was holding a snake. It turned out that it saved my daughter and son. But its leg was injured. What a brave bear. It sacrificed its life to save my children. Then I understood it. I remembered what the old lady said. We saved it and it saved our kids. Its cubs will be with us forever. We can develop a bond. Especially if cubs are raised by us. But they are unpredictable wild animals. That's why these friendships often don't end well. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Feel free in the comments. We will reply to you as soon as possible. Let's continue. A polar bear cub is struggling in the lake that its body keeps jumping up. Why did the polar bear fall into the water? I s it dangerous. What happened? I in nature. Animal life is free and dangerous. Especially baby animals. They always face more danger. The mothers of the animals take on the role of protection, but at some point. They also encounter unexpected dangers, there is a very beautiful freshwater lake in the northwest of Russia, the lake is surrounded by woods and the scenery is very beautiful, this is a travel destination for many adventure lovers that it was winter, the snow from the previous day has not yet melted. And the water in the lake is very cold, fishermen spot a polar bear that IT is trying to swim to the other side of the lake with two cubs on its back that IT wants to find something to eat on the shore but swimming in a freezing lake with two kids on your back is no easy feat two cubs clinging tightly to their mother's back dot but an accident happened that IT this time point two polar bear cubs fell off their mother's back. They struggled desperately in the water when the mother polar bear found out she had been separated from her cubs, she has swum some distance forward but she immediately decided to go back and save the baby. Polar bear tries to catch its own cub. But today the current is very strong, the mother polar bear can't save her cubs. After a while, the polar bear seemed to have run out of energy that she stopped, watching the two cubs struggle, the two babies' strength is almost exhausted. The mother polar bear must be very anxious. Fortunately, at the critical moment, a fishing boat came. In fact, the fishermen witnessed the whole process of the cubs falling into the water from a distance, they rushed here, hoping to give them some help, but they don't know how to save the two cubs. Do the mother polar bear attack them? At this moment, only the people on the fishing boat can save the two cubs. So fishermen sprang into action, they first drove the boat to the place where the little polar bear fell into the water, the two cubs show their heads above the water from time to time that we can feel their fear and desire to survive. The mother polar bear has swam to the distant shore that IT seems to understand that these People are here to save her children. Point one of the cubs saw the boat approaching that IT used all its strength to grab the edge of the boat, but we can see it's exhausted. So people started looking for tools that they could use. I in the end they chose a fishing net. Fishermen soon set out to rescue polar bear cubs. They cover a cub in a fishing net. They dragged the polar bear's body and fished it onto the boat. They are succeeded in rescuing it, while people were happy. They did not forget that there was another trapped polar bear, people quickly locked the target and prepared to salvage it in the same way, fortunately, the fishermen soon found the second cub. Fished it into the boat with a fishing net, originally. The fishermen were worried that the cubs would hurt them but these two cubs are very cute, perhaps in the face of a dangerous situation. Their hearts are fearful. They didn't attack after they got on the boat, they obediently hide in the corner and dare not move. If the fishermen hadn't saved the two cubs, I in this cold weather. They must die, they knew the cubs could be aggressive and would hurt them. But they still rescued them from the water without hesitation, they are also very lucky to meet this fishing boat, 
later, fishermen bring pups from boats to shore, their mother is hiding behind a rock not far away. It looks at its child like this, fishermen release polar bear cub back to shore, they immediately ran towards their mother, the polar bear mother was obviously very excited to see her baby alive and safe. She walked away with her two cubs, wild animals are likely to face this danger on a regular basis after being separated from its mother in the vast lake that if it weren't for the fishermen to lend a helping hand. The polar bear's life would not have been saved, fortunately, this family has a happy ending, the following story is also very moving, this also happens to polar bears, mothers do not want their children to be in any danger, but naughty children are always curious about the outside world. They don't want to listen to their mother's advice that a little polar bear is playing happily on the shore that it lowered its head for a while to taste the taste of the water. And then jumped away suddenly that it runs and jumps on the shore, the mother polar bear watched it play. And seemed to want to remind it not to be too naughty. Beware of falling into the water, but the little guy doesn't care that it's still jumping up and down excitedly, after a while. The little polar bear started rolling on the ground, the rocks are covered with ice. It must be very comfortable to lie on that IT twists and turns happily. Like seeing ice for the first time, the mother polar bear is watching. Worried that the cub will be in danger, however. The disobedient baby polar bear is always curious about the outside world, although its mother has made enough preparations, the little polar bear still rolled and fell into the water. It's the first time for it in the water. Just fell into the water. It looks a little nervous and scared, its eyes are full of fear. It slapped the water surface with its arms. Making a splash of water, the mother polar bear who noticed this scene rushed over immediately. She jumped into the water without any hesitation, even without any other wildlife here. And the water is not deep. When the cub falls into the water, its mother is still worried. Mother polar bear couldn't bear to watch it struggle in the water. So it decided to save its own child. After all, every parent loves their child. The mother polar bear soon came behind the CUB. It guards the polar bear with the protection of mother. The little polar bear is not so flustered, mother polar bear holds cub underwater as a stepping stone that IT seems to be telling its children, climb up. Don't be afraid that IT last, the cub climbed onto the shore on its mother's body that IT is afraid of water, but the mother polar bear kept her body in the water to encourage IT that IT hope that the baby polar bear will not be afraid of everything in front of it the little polar bear just experienced danger. This did not affect the mood of the baby polar bear to play that IT follows mom closely. Seeing its mother lying on the ground playing. It's relieved. So start playing, even though it was a near misses that we can still see the worry and concern of the mother polar bear, this is the reaction every mother will have, they always put their children first in life that when a child is in danger, they want to save their children regardless of their own safety, this kind of family affection. No matter in human beings or animals. Will always be an emotion that will last forever, although many animals live freely in nature, they always face various dangers, especially in bad weather. Animal cubs are vulnerable. If no one lends a helping hand, their situation will become very bad when we encounter injured animals. We must not be stingy with helping. Do your best to help them every time a life is saved. The world will be more colorful, more animals will survive and live happily in this land, alright. That's all for this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe. Like and comment that we will continue to bring you more touching stories of animals. See you next time.